Okie dokie. In this video, I will be working this problem out in Excel, giving you another option of how to approach it and go about it, etc. So, in this problem, to summarize, we are given a function s and a function p, and they ask us what should the age, or basically, basically we're looking for a t value uh, for which the seed production is at a maximum. Seed production, this function of seed production, is found by taking the function s and multiplying it by the function p. We find the seed production function, again, by taking this function s and multiplying it by p. This is a kind of complicated process uh, to work out by hand. Um, that's why we're doing it in Excel. So let's talk through it. What we're going to do is insert some t values in the first column, and then we will insert the function that is s times p in the second column, and then we'll find all those s times p values in the second column and identify where that maximum of the s times p values is. Uh, we'll find the t value where it occurs. So starting with t values, let's do, I don't know, we could probably just do starting at zero, going up by one each time. Yeah, I think that should be fine. We're going to click and drag, and we'll just have to fill these out up to whatever makes sense given our answer choices. So like the max time value we see down here is 50. So we could just stop at about 50 for our time column here. And then we want to insert not just the function s, not just the function p, but s multiplied by p. So in the first set of parentheses, I, I will insert. Okay. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, keep making that noise. All right. We'll insert the function s. So we'll do negative 0.2 times, and wherever we see t, we're going to type a1. So we have a1 squared, and then plus 20 times a1, and then plus 0.5. And we'll close that parentheses, then we'll hit times, open parentheses. Now we're plugging in the function p of t. So 90,000 divided by, in parentheses, 2 times t, which is a1, plus 100. Close parentheses, close parentheses, and that should be it. If we hit enter, this is our first um, seed production value, our initial seed production value. And if we click and drag, this down to 50, we get a bunch of other seed production values. Let's highlight all of these and insert a scatter plot. Beautiful curve there. We can kind of see that maximum occurring, I don't know, somewhere up in this region here. I'd say maybe between 30 and 40, uh, just to get a rough estimate. And you know that's really all we need for our answer so between 30 and 40 on the t or x-axis that's where our maximum our highest y value is occurring on this curve and so maybe particularly let's see let's look around the 35s to 38s and not just on our graph but on the um, the columns we have here right so 241 241 3 241 397 so i think this might be the highest value we have here at uh, time 37. So had we worked it out by hand, we likely would have solved for something around t equals 37. When we multiplied S and P, took its derivative, set it equal to zero, solved for t, we would have gotten 37. Then we would have plugged that 37 back into the original S times P to get 241,000. Actually, I guess we really wouldn't have needed to do that. Once we found the 37, we would have said between 30 and 40, and we would have been done. But clearly, doing this in Excel makes it a much easier process. So t values in the first column, s times p in the second column, and insert a scatter, and should be a good enough image to identify the max. All right, if you have any questions, let me know. If you'd like to see it worked out by hand, check out the other video. And yeah, hope this helps. All right.